as medical college admission test is just around the corner and most of the students will start their medical school this fall first of all congratulations to all of those who made it to medical school it was really the hardest part sustaining and graduating from medical school is a bit easier i just wanted to take a moment and share some insight and things i wish i knew before i starting my medical school 5 years of medical school is a lot you get a lot of experience meet new and diverse people learn new thing and interact with a lot of patients and this whole process changes you as a person my name is zirak i am a junior doctor from pakistan and in this video i'll share with you some things which i wish i knew before i started my medical school or i wish someone told me before that let's get into it the first and the most important one is the choice of medical school doesn't matter and it really doesn't matter there are some realistic factors which really determine the importance of one medical school over other like the benefits and facilities available in the attached hospital to that medical school like if a person wants to go in neurosurgery he know from the start that he wants to go in neurosurgery then the best hospital which has the facilities of neurosurgery is lahore general hospital because it has pakistan institute of neurosciences along with that so another way if a person wants to go in cardiology he know from the start that he wants to go in cardiology or intervention cardiology then services institute of medical sciences which is affiliated with service hospital lahore it has pakistan institute of cardiology along with that so that hospital will be best for his particular speciality but before getting into medical school nobody know what speciality they want to go in and what they want to specialize so it really doesn't matter which medical college you want to go in as long as you are studying there another realistic factor which can determine the importance of one medical school over other can be based on the salaries doctor get from their attached hospital all the hospitals of lahore have equal salary for all the doctors except shehzad hospital that hospital pay a lot more to doctors as compared to other hospital so if you are comparing on the basis of salary then shehzad hospital can be the best for you if you are comparing on that scale there are around 200000 students who apply for medical school and only 3500 students gets accepted so no matter which medical school you get in you are still in the top 2% same way apart from medical education in pakistan if i talk about medical schools in usa uk like oxford harvard ivy leagues students they always choose medical school on the basis of least expensive and which have the least fee structure because medical education there is very very expensive students always take loans to pay for their education there and they always try to choose a medical school which is easy for them to pay back the debts when they start earning money as a doctor so all in all all the government hospitals in pakistan or specifically in lahore which are six i guess lahore general hospital mio hospital jinnah hospital shehzad hospital services hospital and gangaram hospital so all of these hospitals and their affiliated medical colleges have equal opportunities you cannot go wrong with any of the medical school i see a lot of students out there comparing different medical schools on the basis of parks available on that medical school or the cafeteria that medical school have or which medical school has the most beautiful building which medical school doesn't all of these are just secondary things not primary things at the end of the day you are just going for education and after completing your mbbs degree you will start doing practice as a doctor you will not take the building or the cafeteria or the ground to your home you are just going there for education in a nutshell the best medical school is really the one you got admitted in end of story the second one is there is a lot of self study in both in medical school before getting into medical school you may be studying in a particular academy or a college there they give you proper schedule to follow different chapters they will going to teach you in a particular time period and all of that thing is organized but getting into medical school is completely different there is no one there to spoon feed you make schedules for you you have to find out yourself first of all you have to find out how you will going to study because there is a lot of content out there and in medical school the difficult part is to manage the content because there is so much content out there you have to really study smart not hard and the previous methods you are studying all over the years cramming and all of that stuff will not work here so you really have to find out which study technique you will going to follow either you are a visual learner type of person or you are a kinesthetic learner you really have to find out yourself you have to devise your strategies so this part of the thing is really the hardest part you have to really find out the way you will going to study medicine the rest of your life there will be countless exams in your medical school journey 
we talk about in anatomy like stages sub stages vivas oskis stand ups then professional exams same way in all of the other subjects and you will find yourself studying a lot as compared to other students uh, which are not studying medicine and studying any other field uh, you will sometimes find yourself a lone wolf like you are studying uh, all the times when you are having back to back exams or when you are having off season where you have to study like 12 hours or 14 hours on daily basis so there is a lot of self study involved in it which is not a glorious side of medicine and most of the people don't show it but you have to find out that it will be a part of your life afterwards after getting into medical school and you have to accept it and understand it and cope with it getting into medical school is really like you are marrying the profession of medicine and in medicine studying is just an integral part of it so after some time you will get used to it you may be having exam the next day but you are perfectly normal not taking any tension because you are just used to it it is your new normal of getting and doing exams again and again medicine is really a lifelong learning as latest research come again and again and you have to cope up with that so after some time you will get used to it it will be your new normal to study for longer hours and going through a lot of exams you will get used to it the third one is you will have time outside of medicine in medical school there is a general misconception that medical students and doctors study all the time they don't have time for anything else when students post pictures of having bundles of book in front of them and when they glamorize that they study a lot which is not completely true all the time you will have time outside of medicine there will be some days when you study a lot but again there are some days when you are not studying when you are having vacations and when you are having free time so it is always a combination of a lot of work then free days a lot of free days then a lot of work it is not a streamlined process it is not a straight road it is a road of having a lot of turns and twists all the medical schools have different societies for different extracurricular activities like debating society for debates arts and philosophy society for arts and philosophy dramatic society for dramatics music society for music so you can take part in all of those extracurricular activities and hobbies and polish your personality it is not just about studying you will study but along with study you will do all of these activities and you can fill up all of the gaps you have in your extracurricular activities and in your social life medical students are really one of the most diverse people you will ever come across in your life and it is generally said that if you can do medicine you can do anything else in this world and i think it is completely true sports system is everything in medical school pursuing a career in medicine is a long and tiring journey and most of the time you will find yourself studying for longer hours studying for back to back exams sometimes you have to skip a wedding because you have an exam the next day so all of these factors make a person sad depresses him because all of these things are against nature which is completely true so you have to have a support system in the form of your friends which are completely honest with you to deal with all of these stressors who continuously motivates you to push harder and harder for different difficulties for different exams again and again so you can be the best version of yourself it is generally said that a person is an average of the five people he surround himself with so you really have to make good friends who continuously motivates you and work as a support system all of these years you really have to look at those people who are with you in all of this journey and not those people who are not in this journey because most of the time we fell into the trap that this person was my class fellow in my high school he graduated he started his job he started his family and on the other hand when you are pursuing your career in medicine which is a long and tiring journey and it really requires a lot of time and like in your 25 26 years you are studying medicine and pursuing your career in specialization all of that stuff which is a bit slower as compared to other professions so you just have to be patient in it you just have to remind yourself that if new york is 3 hours ahead of los angeles it doesn't make los angeles slow everyone is working on their own pace so all of this stuff really helps you when you have a support system to deal with the depression and different stresses you came across in medical school and the final one is medical school is not that hard most of the people make up their mind that medical school is very tough it is very difficult to become a doctor getting into medical school is really the toughest part but once you get into a medical school you are capable enough to push through the medical school and become a doctor medical school really facilitates you in the best way possible to graduate from medical school 
and work as a practicing doctor. They take back to back exams. Those exams really prepares you for your final professional exam. If you fail that exam, there is an option to retake that exam in the supplementary examination. If you fail that, then there is an another option to take that exam in the next year. So medical school facilitates you in the best way possible to pass those exams and graduate and work as a doctor. You will find a lot of mentors in medical school in the form of your upperclassmen or different professors or teachers. They will provide a lot of valuable guidance that really helps you to push through your medical school journey. So in the long run, medical school is tough to be honest, but it is not that tough. Most of the students get to the medical school, they graduate, become a doctor. The dropout rate in medical school is very, very low, like less than one person. And most of the medical students I know who drop out from medical school drop out because of non-academic reasons. They have some family issues or they wanted to pursue any other profession. Academic reasons were not their main issue of dropping out from medical school. So just remember that when you get into medical school 99% of the time, it is confirmed that you will become a practicing doctor one day. And by saying this, that pretty much wrap up this video. Hope you get something out of it and find this video useful. If you did, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram to see more content like this. And all the MDGET aspirants who just cleared their MDGET and got admitted in a medical school. Do comment uh, and let me know which medical school you get into. It's really amazing to know students from which medical colleges are watching these videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.